Hello, I'm George Hayes, and this tutorial is going to be about how to compile Glue 2.0 and above without using MainGW's uh, MySys and the Make file. All right. And what you see in front of you is a batch file that's been created that does the job for you, so you don't actually have to install MySys and then use Make. All right. 2.0 and above is slightly different from all the previous ones. If you see the bat file as far as on my servers, it will be for the previous ones down through here because it was different. And the difference was basically these used libraries and there is here is now using some functions that are actually carried directly by the compiler. All right. And there's a few flags difference as far as in the way those works. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you've got MingGW installed on your system, whether you've installed it via code blocks or whether you uh, just downloaded MingGW by itself. Either way is fine. And you're going to then need to make sure that the compiler binary directory is listed in your path system variables as I've done, I believe, here. All right, where I've got mine, I'm using MingGW64 right now. All right, and so that is possible. You can actually compile that way. And anyway, you're going to have to do it however your operating system is. I'm using Windows 10 to get to this on Windows 10. I just type path in the bottom at the search window and then just select edit system variables and go through as I just did to it. Okay, so you'll have to figure out for whether you're using Windows 7, Windows 8, whatever yours is, that's up to you. All right, then download Glue, create a directory, as I've done here. In this case, I have Glue 64-bit. In truth, I actually have two different Glues, the 32-bit and 64 Unfortunately, when you compile 64-bit, it doesn't change variables, but names and stuff like that as far as the file name so you don't get like glue 64 you could make it do that but it doesn't right now as far as I I haven't done it all right and so it's still usable though but all I do is take that bat file which I showed you earlier and I'll go ahead and show you right now again you can either copy this down or I have it up on my Sun server right now at yeah, this address right here you should be able to read all this if you're on at least 720p or above uh, I'll put the link down in the description all right and when I change it and put it back up onto my newer server then I will sit there and include it again as far as the new link down in the description all right so here's what you do once it's in the path and you've made sure that your path is actually active as far as whether you have to reboot or however you're going to do it, that's fine. Uh, then all you do is run this bat file. The bat file in this location will go through it and build it. And you end up with the object file all stored in here. Your DLL stored here along with your .as and so forth like that. And then your include files for GL will actually be up here and you're just going to have to take them either I I, I have a preference I tend to take these and stick them as far as into my compilers directory as far as uh, for the rest of the .as and all like that and I take the DLLs and I store them as far as in with my projects alright that way I remember to ship them out with the people with the rest of the software that's going out so it's all together um, but yeah, it's your choice. You could put it into your system directory if it's just for you or whatever is your choice on that. But the point here was to show you how you can sit there and compile, get your uh, glue 2.0 compiled without having to go through and do it. And that bat file again, I want to point. I probably can point out differences here as far as on it. If you look, there's a uh, let's see. No, no standard library as far as in here and then I believe there's like this INFO built in uh, is actually added in compared to the old one um, let's see if I can pull up the previous version and let me 
see if I can find an older version of it. If you give me just a few seconds, I might be able to do that. Okay, so here we are. Alright, this is a new version, and if I pull this right down underneath it, we can see the older version here of it. And you can see the slight differences as far as in it. Everything up to the share area here is new, along with the after the kernel, which is the no standard library, no standard library, and so if you're compiling anything before 2.0 this would be it and 2.0 and above for glue this is the one that you're going to want to have right here all right and you should be able to pause this copy it if you need either one of them and i hope this helps you uh thank you for listening and good luck